guys, today I'm going to do Mob Wives Season 5, Episode 1. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to talk about the ladies of the show since this is the first episode of the season. Let me get this out the way now. Y'all might see this sweatshirt a lot because it's raining and cold and all that kind of stuff. And I'm getting ready to leave, but I want to help and get this video out. Um, Let's start with... Drita, she's in a store. They got a couple of stores now. Now that leaves out, they got like a sports store. So she feel like she's taking on everything. Her store, his store. She don't have enough time. Um, her daughter is going to remind me of Teresa's daughter. Like they need the ass whoop. There's no way in the world her kids, family, husband, all that. Should have kept calling her at work the way they were calling her. Um, and then the way she was screaming at her on the phone, hell to the knob. Would have got that ass whooped when I got home. Um, the way Drita was dressed for work, is it me or was that just so inappropriate? I know that's her story, but to how coochie cutters on in your store, uh-uh. Um, your store, his store, all them stores. Yeah, that, that should be inappropriate. I'll tell y'all now. I don't like Natalie. I'm not going to like Natalie. I didn't like her last season, and I don't like her starting off on this season. She's messy as fuck. We don't have the other girl on here so far, the one that was, the one that's waiting for her trial. I can't remember her name right now, but she's not on, she wasn't on the first episode. Um, Natalie and her boyfriend is living in New York and in Philadelphia, trying to make their relationship work. He wants to be a part of the family business now. I'm sitting there like, oh my God, why is he still with her? Ugh, London, run, fast as you can. I don't like her. She messy as fucking immature. Um, Renee not messing with the girls anymore. They not messing with her. Big Ange have heard things that Renee's supposed to say about her and all this kind of stuff. So she not messing with them no more. Um, my whole problem with this, why do y'all wait to get back on camera to address your issues? If y'all supposed to be t friends for 20 years, and you and heard her say all this stuff about you, uh, Big Aunt, why you ain't called her and addressed her? Really? I, I hate that they wait for they, for them to talk. I hate for them to talk right when, um... They waiting on the cameras to start rolling, and they supposed to have been friends for so damn long. I just don't get that. And then, oh, messy ass uh, Natalie, she meets up with Ange and Drita, and then go in on Renee, talking about Renee talked about Drita and Drita's husband and all these slow stuff. She talked tells um Big Ange. Stuff that Renee's supposed to say about her. And then when they was like, why you didn't been tell her? She was like, because that was y'all friend. And all this kind of stuff. So, I didn't want to start nothing. But I'm like, okay, so now they enemies you start something? No, you a fake ass friend. Because if you was a real friend, bitch, and you was real cool with them, you wouldn't have waited till the camera start rolling to start telling them. You would have told them all that time y'all was getting close. I don't understand that part either. Um... Renee goes see my girl Karen. I love me some Karen. I don't know what it is about Karen, but I love me some Karen. Um, she goes see Karen because you know they have made up since season one. And she feels like Karen the only person got her back and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, girl, you were just hating Karen season one. But okay, we five seasons in. Okay, I can get y'all getting along and being cool and... And, you know, Karen feel like in a community, loyalty is everything. So, Renee was telling her about the whole thing with Big Ange and their friendship deteriorating and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, Renee got, um, Karen got a problem with that because she was like, loyalty is supposed to be everything. She don't understand why her and Drita has problems because she said the last time they were kicking it, they were on, they left off on a cool note. So, she don't understand why Drita has a problem with Renee being Karen's friend. And I was like, I don't get that either, but whatever. Um, then, they had this, let's get to this, because like I said, I don't want this to be a long video because a lot didn't happen, but a gang, but a gang of messy bullshit happened. And then, before we get to the party, I like how 
London told Natalie to stay the fuck out of that. They are friends. They've been friends. Stay the hell out of that. But no, she's too messy to stay the fuck out of that. So, they get to this party because Karen tells Renee, don't let the girls run her off. Still go to the party. Um, they have been going to this party for years together, but now they're nobody friends, whatever. So, Drita, Renee, and Natalie go to the party together, and then Renee comes by her, I mean, Drita, Big Aunt, and Natalie go, and then Renee comes by herself. So, they sitting on one side, Renee sitting on one side. Messy ass Natalie always had to point shit out. Oh, there go Renee right there. There she go right there. Woo woo. Trying to get the other girls to confront her of what she said. But I was like, that's not the time or the fucking place to be doing that shit. Um, so, you know, Renee was keeping her calm. She was cool. She was sitting over there. Wasn't trying to give them the time of day. Give them the satisfaction or whatever. But no, since... Nally wasn't getting her motherfucking way. She was like, I'm about to go say something. I'm about to go say something. Why? It's not your fight. You just messy and want to camera time and wants to be seen. So she goes over there and Renee don't give her what she want. And Renee gets up with her friend and Renee walks out. But Renee was like, fuck that. I'm not going to let these girls get to me. So she comes back. She goes to down. Karen comes, she's excited that Karen is there, Karen feel like, you know, after talking to Renee on the phone and seeing how sad she was or whatever, she felt like Renee needed somebody to have her back because it was three against one. So she walks up to um, Drita and them and say, hey, they looking at her like, bitch, what you doing here or whatever, but they say, hey, you can tell that Drita and Big Ant was drunk than a motherfucker by the time Karen got there. You could just see all up in their face that they was feeling it. Um, but they end up saying hi or whatever, and Natalie rushes off. Because uh, Karen told us at the beginning how her and Natalie got into a Twitter beef or whatever. For what reason, I don't know. I don't follow them on Twitter. But apparently, Natalie was feeling herself thinking she was hard and she was going at Karen or whatever. Karen probably was making comments about last um, season. Then, you know, uh, Natalie was saying something about Karen's dad being um, a snitch and how she's this and that. Just talking about Karen and not knowing her. So Karen was like, okay, wait till I see the bitch. And I was like, yes, somebody's finally going to go against Natalie. Yes. And I'm ready for that. I think that's going to be something good to see. Um, so she, you know, walks up, say hi. Natalie couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. And I'm like, oh, it's okay for you to start bullshit with Drita, Big Ang, and Renee. But when a bitch is ready to come for your head, you can't get the fuck out of there fast enough talking about you was going to the bathroom. You never told them girls you was leaving and they supposed to be your motherfucking friends. And you run your ass up out of there like a little punk ass bitch. And I was laughing like a motherfucker. That she was like, I gotta go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Go. Bye. See you. Don't come back. Um... Big ass son is getting ready to have a baby. If he don't get his shit together, he gonna go to jail because he was selling drugs in the park. Who cares? Um, that's all that happened on this episode. To me, that was important. If you guys saw something that you guys rather talk about and we can discuss in the comment section, we can do that. But, um, that was all that happened. I'm ready for the season to keep on going. I will keep reviewing this. I'm ready for the next, the new Natalie to come to give the old app Natalie the business. I'm ready for her to get this business this season. I don't like her. Um, tell me what you thought, who you like, who you don't like. I like all the girls except Natalie. I want the girls to fix their friendship. With five seasons in, all this petty bullshit is really unnecessary. Um, yes, Renee can be over the fucking top. I get that. So, y'all ain't got to tell me Renee over the top. I do get that. Um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Xbox Live. Um, I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Make sure you check out Ashley Miller. She's doing Mob Wives. I think some more love TV is also doing Mob Wives. Um, but if not, check her out any damn way. Check out her all her new channels and stuff like that. Let's support our girl. Um, I gotta go. I gotta hurry up and get up out of here. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I'll try to do another video either tonight or in the morning. Um, to talk about the whole Eric Garner situation and stuff like that. 
just keep the world in your prayers because we all turned upside down. Um, and I'll talk to you like later. All right, peace.